to Works For You Weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. A fairly nice Saturday morning we're seeing here in Green Country. 63 degrees at the moment here in Tulsa. We're sitting in the mid-50s off in Jinx and Sepulpa at 55. For your Saturday planner, we are looking at gray conditions heading into this afternoon. A high temperature of 76 forecasted for Tulsa. Breezy southerly winds at times for today as well. We'll see those gusts from 20 to even 30 miles per hour as we head into our afternoon. So from around 1 to 5, dealing with those breezy conditions, those gusty conditions for us today. So if you are out tailgating, watching either some OU or OSU football games, just kind of be aware that any kind of tents or paper plates might get blown around. So have something to weigh those down for this afternoon. Heading into the evening, we have a nice cool night in store with temperatures falling near 60 by 9 p.m. We're taking a live look at our Brookside camera, all part of our Dave's Claremore RV weather camera network. Beautiful fall colors out there as we overlook downtown Tulsa. Blue skies for us as well on this Saturday morning. Wind speeds are picking up much uh, more from earlier this morning. We were calm out there and now 11 mile per hour wind speeds out of the south southeast for us here in Tulsa. 15 mile per hour wind speeds off in Stillwater. Like I said, as we get further into the afternoon, those winds will become a bit more gusty. To our kickoff condition, sunny and 75 for both games today. Kansas at OU. Uh, 230, we'll be seeing those winds out of the south southeast. A little breezy, 15 to 20, and 20 to 30 off in Kansas. That's where OSU will be at around 3 o'clock. They'll have that kickoff time. And again, those temperatures, sunny and 75, can't beat that for an afternoon of football. We now have Tropical Storm Ada. It has sustained winds at 40 miles per hour. That is the latest update put out by the National Hurricane Center. This is our visible satellite imagery of this storm. We can see it really start to organize once again after it already has made landfall. We're going to continue to track this storm, move further to the north northeast, impacting the southern coast of Florida here. They can be expecting some significant rainfall around Key West going into Miami, um, around 8 to 10 inches of rain, 5 to 8 a bit further inland, and then about 2 to 5 inches of rain along the Panhandle and along the uh, northern coast of Florida going into portions of Georgia as well. So lots of rainfall on the way for the east. East Coast as we head into the middle of this upcoming week. We will see some rainfall at the beginning of the week with the passing of a cold front for us here in northeastern Oklahoma. So this is going to be Monday night going into our Tuesday morning looking at some showers and some even thunderstorms on the way for Monday night and by early Tuesday talking during the overnight hours here. We'll see that cold front pass on through and then some cooler weather arrives as we head into the middle of next week. So let's track this out here on our future track radar. We do see that cloud cover develop as we head throughout our Sunday and into our Monday. So note that tomorrow we're not going to see those crystal clear blue skies that we're seeing this morning. We'll see a bit more cloud cover in the forecast. Monday, mostly cloudy out there for your lunchtime hour. Dense cloud cover at times. Going into Monday evening, same story goes and then we see those showers develop overnight and into early Tuesday morning. Most of this will be gone by your morning commute. So we're talking really early rainfall here. And then as we head into the afternoon, we will see that clearing process start to take place. So note that we will see moments of sun on Tuesday along with those cooler temperatures. We're talking 70s down into the 60s by our Tuesday. Going into the week ahead, we are tracking some cooler overnight lows. So overnight lows going to be quite mild for the next couple of days. Not looking at any cold mornings on the way. Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Things can get a little chilly out there with overnight lows falling into the upper 30s. And then another chance for rain arrives as we head into our Thursday.